Oh, we need a mystery box. Like I'm on a one, bar, I'm on a one the bar, but base of I'm not. Once we were inside, we okay, this ninja just ran right past everyone. Yeah. Dude, this freaking zombie's wearing a jersey. Where are you? I'm up. I'm up by the ammo box. Whoa! Well, what the heck are they wearing? I uh, so you see the guy with the jersey. <laughs> There's freaking Justin Timberlake with a suit and tie coming towards you. Alright, I'm up here. I'm uh, slowly dying. I know. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Back up, back up, just back up. That was such a good freaking stun. Dude! Why are they wearing suits and ties? Cuz, they're gonna get something tonight. We gotta push up. I can't get no, down there's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. We don't have to Look at this zombie with that his shirt on. on. He's have white hands, but his face is all moldy. Throwing nades. The only way we only okay. Don't, I'm like, I'm don't push through. up yet. I'm, I had I had to. They're gonna keep spawning right there. I had to. I'm down here. No, I don't. I don't think they're spawning. I think that's just. I'm down here by the I'm Down here by the. I'm down by the S. I'm down by the S. Is there a lot? Uh, they're just walking up the steps, really. I'm trying to kill some. Yeah. You got me. I just done myself. I need a mystery box. <gasps> yes! Is it gun right there? Do you have the same gun as me? Yeah. There's also a max ammo. Oh, we can go to this right side over here. Hey, left side, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how that oh man, I think it's not dated. That oh, and guys, um, kind of sorry for a little bit of late uploads. You know, stuff happens. I try my best. Is this the part? Oh my god, I've seen this part like eight times. What's happening? I, I can't. Salim, what's happening? Sorry. Come back to my voice. I can't. I don't. I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I, I, I saw. I don't know. I saw. Suck my penis. They, they, were, they were ripping me apart. <laughs> what's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious finding fears. Here, I'll be right back. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. Wait. I, I, yes, yes, there, there was a console head. Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. Nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous. And it's an eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardas had a contact. An inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details. The last of which was most telling. He had okay, I'm back. Extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Woo! Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take me to his apartment. What? What I miss? Not much. <laughs> We were ready to breach, but it didn't go as planned. He was ready. I had to get after him. Our mark was going to release 6115 into the surrounding area. Remember, walk before you run. You were not alone. Who else was there? Taylor? Taylor. Yes, he discovered our mark had just unleashed the virus into Old Town, turning civilians into the living dead. But Taylor didn't leave that day. 
No, he had Overwatch. He was our eyes in the sky. Sarah Hall, oh. however. Sarah Hall, the team's intelligence expert, was with me. She had point. She found our mark. Apparently, his supply of 6115 was ten times what we initially believed. Enough to turn all of Zurich into a city of the dead. Hall had been with Taylor as long as Diaz. He practically raised her, trained her. He made her. With Taylor in the sky, Hall was our feet on the ground. She didn't have as much patience for fresh blood as Diaz. She was direct and focused. And right now, she was about to give me a lesson in target requirement. Oh my gosh. Ryan? Ryan? Yeah? You can miss oh, this guy God. and I'm only up and down. Why are you down? That robot right there. Hey, there's robots. Why are there robots? <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. I didn't think there was either. I smacked him. Oh. I smacked him. Wait, like look at that lady. It's that Sarah Hall lady. Yeah. This guy didn't mess around. He had DNI just like us. He was hijacking any robotics he could, sending them after us. You. Hold up. Oh, we're in target. Up. Uh, uh. Come in here. No, I'm just. I know. Okay, where did. Oh, we go left. We go left. <laughs> I'm retarded. You know, maybe there's a collectible in that spot that we missed in the campaign. Taking back at it. We're we still chasing this person. Ow! Ow! I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die too. I'm gonna die. that fall through the ceiling time wasn't on our side and we needed information so what did you do i would do what hendrix did in coalescence i had to interface with him extract the information from his memories you make it sound cool you would be diving into this man's mind a dangerous task a terminal task i know but you have to make it cold detach yourself from the person it was our first time performing this sort of interface, and Hall wanted to get that point across above all else. It's nothing personal, because there is no person. They're not humans. They're data banks for pilfering. Even though it would kill him. Even though. It's ironic, really. Ironic? Hall teaching me how to raid a person's mind. It wouldn't be long before. Well, we know what happens to Hall what I do to Hall. But we do what we have to do. This was the world we made. If we don't do it, if we can't sacrifice the individual, how do we protect everyone else? That is a heavy burden to press upon the individual. If not us, then who? This was what it was about. Being part of an undead extermination team. Being a dead killer. It's about making that sacrifice making the ultimate 
sacrifice. What did you find? What secrets did your data bank have to share? The Kutardis group had set up shop deep in the subways. Whatever they were planning, the answers were there. Information that would stop the bomb. Save millions of lives. The greater good. The greater good. <laughs> yeah. The greater good. Taylor joined us. If we were going to move on the subway, we had to act fast. The attack, whatever it was, was imminent. And your mark? What happened to him after your interface? He was gone. Dead. Yes, I did. The tunnels. I got to stop. Thanks to the boom. And they were putting up a good fight. Who joined you in the tunnels? Taylor oversaw the operation. But the lead on this. I still don't know where Marshawn Lynch is. The last of Taylor's team. Dude, I know, right? I still haven't seen him. He was the guy you wanted when you needed to blow shit up. He was damn good mm. at blowing shit up. Which made him perfect for the fight ahead. Fearing discovery, the Cotardis Collective had an armada of undead and patrolling robotics guarding the facility. I won't lie, it's strange seeing Moretti like this. Yeah. Knowing what happens next, he was crucial to finding what? Taylor. To finding Deimos. You mean the refineries in Cairo? He had a pivotal part to play. He just didn't know it yet. What he knew then was the way to the hideout. He took point. Oh, someone just has to take point. I have not seen a mystery box yet. Oh my god, I just got wrecked. Ryan, I'm, I'm like behind cover. So the robots can't really get you. Oh, hold on, I'm reloading. I need ammo. Oh. I, oh my God. You're a Smero. On. Dead. Wait, what? You're a? Tunnels. We tracked oh my god, let me scab. Operations, and they were putting up a good fight. Who joined you in the tunnels? Taylor oversaw the operation, but the lead on this was Peter Moretti, the last of Taylor's team, an explosives expert. He was the guy you wanted when you needed to blow He was shit. kind of blowing it up. <laughs> blowing shit up. He was so good at blowing up my asshole. Right ahead. Come on, let's go. Of undead and patrolling robotics guarding the facility. I won't lie, it's strange seeing Moretti like this. Knowing what happens next, he was crucial to finding Taylor, to finding Deimos. You mean the refineries in Cairo? Nope, we gotta not die unless he's cutting again. He just didn't know it yet. What he knew then was the way to the hideout. Here, I can just, could just edit that part out, I guess. Oh my god, you're down. Oh my god, those robots could freaking kill. What? Man, I'm killing these robots. I'm gonna get behind here. Don't get in front of me. Get behind me. Get behind me. Shrieking zombie. The shriekers. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, I got all the uh, robots.
There's man of war on the ground. Wait, there a mystery box somewhere? I just heard it. Oh, there's a locust. That's I heard there's a locust. I heard a mystery box sound. Oh god. Mr. Kill. I'm pushing up. Oh gosh, there's so many zombies! There's so many! Why did I run back? Wait, can I get this ammo box while I'm down? Oh, I hear something. There's a max ammo. I'm down right like right behind you. Just go arc back, arc back, arc back, go back, back. Dude, I got so much stuff to do tonight, dude. I gotta edit like 